There are about 250 different forms of arthritis. Some of the common ones that people might have heard about are things like rheumatoid arthritis and gout. Um, a less common one or less well-known one is ankylosing spondylitis. AS is a form of arthritis that tends to affect the back. Um, patients usually present with back pain. This is typically lower back pain and can be in one or other of the buttocks. It tends to be worse at night, first thing in the morning or after periods of inactivity, and tends to get better as you get up and move around and exercise. It can also affect other joints, so it can affect um, large joints like the knees and the hips, and occasionally it can affect the hands as well. And really it can affect other internal organs, so it can affect the eyes, it can cause a red or painful eye, uh, it can affect the skin with a rash, and it can also affect the bowel, causing some diarrhoea for some patients. So the typical patient with AES is a male. We know that it's three times more common in males than it is in female. And they tend to present between the ages of about 20 and 40 years. Back pain is very common in the community. And the trick is really to decide whether the back pain that a patient's got is because of AES or because of another problem. The first step in finding that out is a trip to your local doctor. They'll be able to talk to you, find out what your symptoms are, and make a uh, first assessment of whether AES is a possible diagnosis. And if they're concerned that it might be, they may well refer you on to your local rheumatologist uh, for a second opinion. We diagnose it by talking to the patient and finding out how it's affected them and what their symptoms are. We then examine the patient and we focus particularly on their back and how that might move. We do do some tests. There are some specific blood tests that will help us see if there's any signs of inflammation. There's a particular genetic test that we do. Uh, this is known as HLAB27. Um, and that's a genetic marker that is associated with ankylosing spondylitis, but doesn't diagnose it. And then we can do x-rays, uh, plain x-rays, and also more specialised MRI scans, which will also help us make the diagnosis. The best uh, treatment for ankylosing spondylitis, or AS, is a combination of both drugs and exercise. So first-line treatment would consist of the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. So many people may have heard of these. These are things like brufen, naproxen, or diclofenac. Um, and we'd typically suggest that patients have a trial of at least one or two of these drugs. Exercise is very important. Uh, we know we need to keep the spine and the joints moving and we will routinely uh, refer our patients to a physiotherapist for an exercise program. For patients who have failed treatment or haven't had adequate control of their symptoms with the anti-inflammatory drugs and exercise, there are now available a new group of drugs. These are known as biological agents and the particular one we use for ankylosing spondylitis is a group of drugs called the TNF inhibitors and they are an injection uh, which can be very effective in controlling the symptoms of AES. With the right treatment, patients with AES can enjoy a very full and active life. Our goal of treatment is to get them to be living a normal life, um, and I think the newer treatments that are available have certainly given that for a lot of patients who haven't previously achieved that.